So this first one, do you recommend people with an entrepreneurial bend do banking or PE before starting their own business or startup? It's helpful to have a sense of what type of entrepreneurial venture that you're looking into doing. Pretty complementary and different skill sets. Um, banking allows you to kind of see things from an overall market perspective and understand the drivers of kind of what are the different players that are playing in this space and what do those players do particularly well or better than others and really what does it take to have a good strategy across the board you can you can get to compare and contrast a lot of really strong players so like my my experience in in financial services while we were advising you know our ipos or some of the deals that i worked on um it was important for me to, uh, uh, to also understand all the other players in the space, especially the ones that are better performing, um, to really get a sense for that. So I'd say that's the perspective banking is. On the private equity side, what it allows you to just go a lot deeper into something, right? So let's say you're investing in two or three ideas per year or two or three companies. Um, you, get a, you go a lot deeper into that idea. Um, and then I think you really understand more of the operational things that make a company work and be successful and specific things that may or may not work about a particular company. So I would almost answer it like in banking, you get a more of a breadth, like I said earlier, and then I think in, in PE, the depth. Look, if, you, if I were to like choose, I would say if you can get both, great. Or I could say if you had neither, that's fine. I think I'll, I'll say this though about running a company and, and, and or running something in general. Um, as I've kind of built up Elevate, I think I've, I've had direct experience kind of doing this, is that it does take skills that are beyond what you may even get, you know, in either of those industries, right? So I think the financial and the transactional knowledge that you might build in, in M&A, as well as maybe some of the operational and, and, and deal related stuff that you get in private equity is probably like one fit, like 20% or 25% of what it takes to, to build things that are, that are as an entrepreneur, right? So I would just challenge you to say, in the things that you do, take a look and, and think about strategy, right? Take a look and think about go to markets, channels, go take a look and think about operations. And, and operations is one of the biggest things that you may not get as much in banking or in PE, um, as well as things like sales and marketing, as well as, you know, things like people development, et cetera. Um, I would just say, I think it's awesome to have entrepreneurial focuses, both of these careers. And I've had a lot of people come in through Elevate who've, who've, you've, who've gone two years in banking or, or private equity and said, okay, you know, this is not for me let me go to business school or let me just go start my business. I think that's work, but you just have to be cognizant that finance is just one of the skills that you need to, to kind of build that business. But you know, if, if you were just going to ask me point blank, I would say, if you had to pick, I'd probably say investing or private equity, just because you get to go more deep, you know, deeper into even a handful of companies to, to build those skills.